Lunges can be done a variety of different ways. One thing I like about my strength coach, Karsten Jensen, is he really promotes the concept of doing exercises that are the same but different. Okay, So you can forward lunge, you can also reverse lunge, right? There's a million other ways of lunging too, and we're going to do a variation on the lunge. And it's called a 45 degree lunge. So what I'm doing is I'm stepping out to the side, out to the side, out to the side, and out to the side rather than going straight forward. Why? Challenges the muscles in a bit of a different way. What I want you to remember is point your toe in the direction you're going, okay? I'm going to go over the form of a regular lunge for you. The form of a 45 degree lunge applies just the same, but I want to show you the specifics of a forward lunge, a regular forward lunge, so that you get a sense of what you're looking for when you're lunging. Lunges aren't for everyone. You may have knee pain, you may have hip pain, you may not be that strong yet. You may have some stability issues. Um, you gotta be careful because lunges are very unstable. Unlike a squat where I have a nice base of support, my feet are shoulder width apart, and I'm nice and I'm firmly rooted. When I'm lunging, I don't have a wide base of support. And so I've got length and rel a relatively narrow base of support. I'm really tippy on these things, okay? Even if a person's strong on lunges, they can feel the forces trying to pull them over to the side, okay? When I'm lunging, let me show you from the side. Rules the same as with, oh, and by the way, really quick, what we're working here, the quads, the glutes, and the hamstrings. Rules are the same as with most of the exercises we teach here at Fit and 20. Your core is tight, as if someone's going to punch you and you're protecting yourself against it. Your back is straight by lightly, gently pulling your shoulder blades together and you're looking straight ahead. Hands up here, you're going to step out on the heel of the front foot and you stay on the heel. You don't come over onto the toes, okay? What I see people doing is I see them, they, 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 don't, they really don't want to bend this back leg. That might be a strength issue or it might be a fear issue because of stability. Again, this might not be the exercise for you, but I really want you to bend that back knee. That's the whole secret of the lunge, is literally thinking about driving that knee straight down to the ground, almost touching, and then coming back up. Okay? Other side, same thing. Drive it down, come back up. Drive down, come back up. Drive down, come back up. Now, I want to keep my back straight up and down. I want to avoid as much as possible bending over as I'm coming down, okay? I'm really trying to drive with the quads as much as with the glutes. If I'm bending over and standing up, my glutes are taking over, okay? So that's the form from the side. The form from the front, very important. You step out and your knee goes in the same direction as your toes, okay? Breathe in, out. Knees pointing in the direction of the toes. Notice what's not happening is I'm not whoa, 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 whoa. If that happens to you when you try and lunge, if you're unstable, wavering from side to side, it might not be the exercise for you, okay? You can work up to it. There's lots of things you can do to, to get all the way up to a lunge. You can even do partial lunges. You can do lunges while you're holding on to things, but doing a full lunge is not necessarily the best thing for some people. What does a 45 degree lunge look like? Same thing, but I'm going to step out to the side again. I'm pointing my toes in the direction I'm going and my knee is going in that direction as well. Okay, so I'm looking straight ahead. Step out. Feels a little different, okay? Step out. Breathing, breathe out as I come up. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay, out to the side and back, out to the side and back. Again, looking for stability, looking for depth, looking for staying on the front foot, not bending forward, okay? So those are 45 degree lunges. Great variation for the quads, the glutes, and the hamstrings.